Okay, here we have the Cruiser 327 BHS. We're gonna go walk around the outside, go through the inside, go over some of the features. There's an overview. All right, on the outside, you've got a decent side kitchen back there we'll look at. Awning, 20 foot awning over both entrances. Power tongue jack, 20 pound LP bottles. One thing interesting on the Cruiser RVs is they've taken advantage of some of the empty space in the front with a nice pull out storage area that sits right back in and closes. I'd say it's about a 36 inch by 24 inch pass through storage. Slam latch, doors, kind of thinner on the doors. They're a little lightweight. I'd like to see it a little heavier, but pretty good, definitely at this price point. They have a show price listed, $34,999. It's got standard windows, which is not necessarily bad. They open up a little more. Trailer King RST tires. You have a standard equalizer. 225-75R15. Looks like they are D-rated. Let's go check the numbers. They're D-rated tires. That would be a little disappointing. Nice front cap. Standard, same, not a full wraparound front cap. And they are D-rated tires. Gross vehicle weight rating, 9,900 pounds. That is definitely disappointing having D-rated tires on this trailer. Even at this price point, I would expect E-rated tires. Okay, coming around to the camp kitchen. Uh, again, decent for the price point. You don't have slam latch on the door. You do have the newer style griddles they're putting in instead of the stoves. Nice metal shelf with electrical outlet. Deep closet or cabinet in this one. It's very nice. Kind of your standard dorm fridge. Uh, it does have the full upper shelf without the freezer area. So not necessarily that you want to put frozen stuff out here. So it gives you a little more beverage storage. Do you have a swing out arm for grill, spare tire in the back, no accessory rack on the back. However, it does have the PSX one electric stabilizers front and back. Only the one switch controls both of them. Again, your long awning with the led lights. You do have a window, frosted window, in the rear main door, and there's actually a peephole in the front door we'll take a look at. It's got more ride step above steps. And as we enter, again, for the price range, has a pretty good layout. Huge, huge closet, three coat hooks, multiple shelves, now we looked at this and took some measurements. This would easily, easily fit everything for the pantry and probably the washer and dryer, the portable washer and dryer storage in here without any problems at all. You do have digital thermostat control, which you would expect on any newer travel trailers. The bunk room is pretty tight. There's, as you can see, not a lot of floor space. You're not gonna be probably playing in here. However, you do have a TV hookup. You do have the access cargo door from the outside in here with slam latch. That is really nice, very convenient. You have four bunks, although these two are the shorter on the backside, but you do have four bunks, lots of space underneath the bunks and you do have a wardrobe in the bunk room 
with plenty of clothes. Again, it's gonna be tight getting to it, the wardrobe. But that is because across from the wardrobe, you do have the half bath, and this is a very big half bath. You do have a linen closet, medicine cabinet, wraparound countertop for the sink, under storage, and it is a plastic toilet. Again, in this price range, not surprising to find a plastic toilet. Coming out into the living area, you have overhead storage, above the couch. This is a trifold couch. Uh, talk to the dealer rep, you can, it's not a standard option for theater seats in here, uh, but you can get them to put it in. It does sit directly across your entertainment center, which again, especially in bunk houses, some of the models really miss out on. So you've got some decent storage, no overhead storage, but you do have space for a larger TV if you want. One thing to note, I did just hit my head on the slide trim. So if you're sitting there, I'm six foot, and you stand up, uh, it is a short slide. Decent size boot dinette with storage below. Uh, no pull out, some, some of the manufacturers are starting to put pull out bins or slide outs in there. But again, in this price point, I mean, it's easy to go to Walmart and get your own bin coming around to the kitchen. I love this because I've seen some trailers without the 12 volt fridge. And I am a huge fan of the 12 volt fridge for a couple of reasons. One, as you can see, is all the space. You don't have the condenser in there for the propane. Uh, you got a lot more space. Plus it being 12 volt, it's safe to run while you're traveling. Uh, and a lot of the trailers are either coming with at least one solar panel or with solar panel prep. Make sure your battery is always topped off. Uh, and it's just a fantastic option. It cools a lot quicker. It does have a 16 inch oven with a three burner stove top. Pretty standard, it's Furion. It has the smaller Greystone microwave, which is similar to what we have on a Spirit Ultralight. Uh, still good enough size for using a microwave when you're camping. Decent amount of under cabinet space. Does have the farm, stainless steel farm sink with the solid cutting board. It's nice to have a cutting board. However, we have kids. And if the water gets turned on, I mean, water's gonna hit that. There's a little bit of a drain hole there, but water's gonna go everywhere. I like the rib vent style. Some, uh, not a lot, but probably enough if you're just part-timing storage for dishes you do have a couple of drawers this unit is definitely lacking on the drawer space couple of drawers you can put some utensils but again you have the huge pantry that's up there you have a walk-through bathroom with a linen closet medicine cabinet you do have the little wraparound counter shelf here which is which is nice uh nice use of space instead of just having that empty uh not much room you could probably get a small trash can down there or even in one of the little cubbies but it's not going to be very big and again plastic sinks plastic toilets which at this price point is not surprising i'm not mad about that plastic toilet Decent uh, cubby space and spot for the towel hooks. Not a bad as a first on the initial look, not a bad shower. However, I'm gonna hand the camera off. We're gonna see I'm six foot and I'm gonna step in. It is a large step up into it. And it's not terrible. You have plenty of elbow space either way. It has the newer style door with the squeegee. And my head is into the skylight a little bit and I'll have to duck down to use the shower, but all in all, it's not bad for the price point. Again, it's a pass-through bathroom. So even though there's no slide in the bedroom, you can close that door and have some changing area. Yep, 
the bed does slide. This is a unique feature, patent pending for Cruiser that nobody else has. You have a little, you slide it over. You have a little area you can sit down, put your shoes on, access the pass through under the bed. Uh, very convenient, very, very convenient, especially because I get up before Jess does and <laughs> I can just slide her over out of the way and get dressed. All right. Standard overhead storage in the bedroom. Again, the bed can slide over. You can access both sides. And because of this extra room it affords you sliding the bed, you actually do have a cabinet slash wardrobe space and dresser drawers, which is nice. Again, you don't see this in particular in this price range very often. And you have a separate thermostat there. And they do have a Coleman Mach, double Coleman Mach air conditioners. One in the main living area, one in here with a separate thermostat. So there's some things you expect to see in this price range. There's some things that are a little disappointing, but there's some good stuff they give you. A lot of functionality, a lot of functionality. We're gonna go around to the back. I'm gonna show you the cargo area. Big window for the bunk room. Here's that cargo area. And you can see you've got a large opening to load stuff up on for travel days into the bunk room. Now be careful you don't overload the back of it. We don't want to get your weight distributed in, in a fashion that'll help uh, contribute to that sway. Here's your water work connections. You got your 50 amp service, your water connection, satellite cable. Very convenient placement on the waste tank drains. Not under a slide. And your front easily accessible as well with the second black flush, black tank flush. And solar prep, that's kind of a gimmicky on this, but you can see the Coleman Mach air conditioner on top. And that's the cruiser.